you are a clock shop owner. You have all kind of various clocks of different shapes and sizes, but there's one really, really big clock that you leave in front of the store in front of a huge picture window. Now, each and every single day, a particular person walks by, they look at your clock, they pull out their pocket watch, and they make sure that the time is synced. Now, they do this each and every single day, so much so to the point where you grow curious. Curious enough to ask them. So you go outside and you ask the person, hey, how come you use my clocks to sync your pocket watch? And that's when this person informs you of something that you didn't expect. They told you that they were the big city clock organizer. Yeah, they make sure everyone in the city gets to where they're going on time simply because they make sure their time is synced by your clock. And that's when you looked at the huge, big city clock that can be seen all over town. And you kind of chuckled and you informed the person that, wow, the reason I'm able to set my times is because I look at the big city clock. And if you think that's kind of strange, wait until you hear these other 10 reasons of how you're being observed for this month of April 2021. What's up, everybody, and welcome to your April 2021 messages. All right, so as you guys can see, there are 10 question marks on the screen. Each question mark is representing a different message. So most of you guys know that we start off here on YouTube with one through five. Then we take it over to the Patreon where you can choose six through 10. So make sure that if you are not already one of my patrons, you go down to the link in the description box and head on over to Patreon to get a few more messages that dive a little bit deeper. All right, so let us jump into it. As you guys can see, there are five question marks on the screen. I want you guys to take a deep breath and choose the question mark that you feel most drawn to. Now, of course, you can choose more than one. And as I always like to say, you may find a special message in each and every single one of them. But for right now, take a deep breath, choose your question mark, and let's get into these messages. What's up, everybody that chose question mark number one. So for April 2021, you're being observed by a hater. Yes, yes, yes. You have someone who is noticing. Now, this is what this particular hater or person is noticing about you. They feel like everything you do is complicated, but it's actually not. They twist themselves in knots, or I'm actually seeing a pretzel. They twist themselves in a pretzel, break their back, break their neck, trying to either keep up with you or do what you do, but it just doesn't work. They overcomplicate everything. And right now they're in a state of overthinking. Okay. Um, for you this month, they're going to observe that things are going so much further, so much faster. They're going to observe you manifesting. They're going to observe results. Okay. And again, the reason why this person is so stuck on you is because they can't figure out how you do what you do. Okay. Um, this is also the type of scenario. I don't want to hurt nobody feelings, trigger warning. This is the type of situation where a hater would observe that you get something or you manifest something. And then they tell everybody else a different excuse. Oh, she only got that. Cause she was out there. You know what I'm saying? She was out there on her knees. She was out there bending over for people or he was out there doing this. He was out there doing that. So not only do they observe that you're getting ahead, they observe that you're manifesting these wonderful things, but then they have to overcomplicate the situation by making it more than what it is. Listen, you got out there, you did your thing, you manifested, but for them, no, 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 no. It just, it's not that easy. You had to have been, you know, prostituting yourself or you had to have been out there selling drugs or whatever the case may be. So whatever you're walking into this month, whatever manifestation comes out, you have to know that there is a hater in your midst who is not only trying to figure out how you do it, but they're coming up with the lamest excuses as to why these things are all unfolding for you. Um, this is important because reputation matters. 
you know? So if you do have a hater in your midst who is watching you manifest and, but then they're going around and telling other people, you know, word on the street is you did this and you did that, you know, that's not somebody who we need to have around. The thing that's really standing out for me is new, 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 a new hater. So the higher you go, the higher you ascend, you have to understand that people are going to start hating, okay? Even if they was your best friend all the way up to a certain point of your ascension, at some point, this person turned or is turning or future prediction, they will turn. So while everything might've been good, this next manifestation that you hit is going to have them scratching their head. They're going to be wondering, how did you do this? And because they cannot figure it out, even if it's just a special gift from God, God was just like, you know what? You my soldier here. I'm going to throw you something. I'm going to toss you something. And it comes raining on down in your life. This person is not going to give God the credit. They're not going to give you and your hard work, your dedication, your consistency, the credit. They're going to overcomplicate it and make it something that it's not. So make sure that you are standing guard over your manifestations and you cannot control what other people say. You can't control how other people decide that they're going to, you know, ruin your reputation if that's even possible. But what you can do is stand on your guard and keep your manifestations close. Be careful who you share information with this month, because again, if you're talking to this hater about this manifestation, it doesn't matter what you say and how you explain how this thing has come about. They're going to take that and twist it some way, somehow to make it that you did something bad. You was worshiping the devil. You, you know, you did something crazy to make this thing happen. All the while you simply manifested. All right. So be on the lookout for that. And that's what I get for question mark number one. All right, so my people who chose question mark number two, you guys this month are being observed by a potential romantic interest. Okay, now I'm gonna have to take a second to break this thing down because it's not what you think. This person is not running forward this month. I don't think, maybe they will, but for the majority, I'm feeling like this person is not running forward. This person is not shouting from the rooftops that you're their perfect person. No, they're going to observe. And the reason why they are observing is because of one word and that one word is fish. Okay. Now let me break this down. If I'm standing on a boat and I say, come here guys, look at the fish. You run over, you look down into the water and you see one fish. Then I'm on the other side of the boat and I'm like, oh my God, come here guys, look at the fish. And you run over and there are 50 fish. How do you know the difference between one fish and 50 fish when fish can be singular and plural at the same time. That is what this person feels like. I am just one of many. They look at you and they observe that you have maybe a lot of options or you are the person who everybody wants to date or everybody wants to get to know or, you know, everybody wants to take to the bedroom, take it how it applies. But the thing is, this person feels like I am a fish and in your presence, I can be one fish, like an individual person, or I can just be another one of those guys or another one of those girls. They feel like when you look at them, you may not be able to tell the difference. Now, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here. Fish, that word, it can be singular, mean one fish, or it can be plural. It can mean multiple, multiple fish. So if I say, bring me the fish, do you know how many you're supposed to bring? See, it's about getting really, really specific in order to understand the difference. This person feels like they're just another fish. You don't see the difference. There are no details within this person from afar that would separate them from all the other fish in the sea. So like I said, they're not running straight to you. They're not shouting from the rooftops. They have this question. If I do approach, how will you know the difference between me and all the other fish? And because at this time, this person cannot find that difference, not to say that they're not a different individual, but as compared to the other options that you may already have or the other options that they think you may have. 
Because some of you guys, some of the options you have, you don't even want. But for this person, they don't know that. So it's just like, listen, how would you know the difference? Now, in their mind, they may think they're great, grand, and wonderful. But again, it's not about what they think. They're trying to think what you think. So how would you know the difference between me and all the rest of those girls or this, this guy? So for my people who chose question mark number two, when it comes to this person, like I said, I don't see them necessarily running towards you, but I see them going through a thought process. And if they can get a really good or unique answer for their question, they just may approach. But again, their question is, how will you know the difference between me and all the other fish? So that's what I get for question mark number two. All right, so for my people who chose question mark number three, this month you are being observed for how reserved you have become. Someone is definitely starting to notice that you have pulled back your energy, period. There's no other way to describe it. You're more reserved. Now, this can work in different ways. This could be a romantic situation. It could be a friendship situation. But what may have seemed to take someone a long time to notice this month, they finally noticed. So for some of you guys, you withdrew your energy from someone simply just because you wanted to focus on yourself or you wanted to focus on building a career, building a life of your dreams. But some people, you purposely pulled yourself back because you wanted them to feel it. <laughs> and this month, they feel it and they notice. So this person, whoever it is, um, I keep getting something about, they were so busy. They were so busy or so caught up that they really just didn't take the time to notice. Sometimes in order for people to notice, it does take time and it does take the absence of like your presence. And it does take time for people to realize what your energy was actually doing. I'll give you an example. You have a personal trainer, you go to the gym and you're working out and you're seeing all of these results because that personal trainer is telling you what to do, how to work out, telling you what to eat, what not to eat. But then you go to the gym and that first day, you know, you try to work out by yourself and you realize, huh, you know, it's okay. It's cool. You know, I got this. But then after the second week, the third week, you start to look at yourself and you're like, I'm not seeing the same results. I don't understand what's going on, but I know that when I was working out with the trainer, it was always some results. I was getting muscles, man. I almost had abs. Dude, I was looking so good. I was feeling good. But over time, without my trainer, I started to see that I didn't get the same results. And this is how this person feels. This is what they're observing. They're observing the different parts of their life, just like you would observe the different parts of your body. And you realize, oh my God, it's not the same as it was. For some of you guys, it was your energy. Your energy was propelling them in ways that they did not realize because you were there. They thought it was them. And that's, you know, that's fine not to say your energy, all that, and your energy be making people do stuff, but actually it does. And the simple fact that they didn't realize that at first, again, we got to take that time to see what's missing, what's missing, what has changed, what has shifted. And now that person is coming to this. So again, for this month, you guys got somebody who is noticing that you are reserved, more reserved than ever. And not only are they noticing that you're more reserved, your presence is missing, but every single blessing that your energy brought forward in this person's life is now gone too. So that's what I get for question mark number three. All right, so people who chose question mark number four, listen, guys, there's about to be a sweep. That's the only way I can describe this, okay? So let me try to break this down. There's someone who has observed your gifts, your skills, your talent, your work ethic, right? And they had the opportunity to step in and uh, like help you, assist you, move forward. They had resources and they could have helped. They could have, you know, not that you're looking for a handout, not that you're looking for somebody to come in and help you, but based on what they observed, they had the resources and the tools to kind of propel you forward, but they didn't. Here's where the sweep comes in. 
Little did they know you were being observed by other people too. There goes that ding to show me I'm correct. I'm on the right track. Some of y'all had somebody who had the opportunity to help propel you forward, but they didn't. And here comes someone else who snatches you up right up under that person's nose. Okay. So it's two parts to this. The first observation is that the person who had the opportunity to help propel you forward, they recognize your gifts, your skills, your talents. They're going to realize that they are not the only person who observed this about you. And then the second part is the person who observed you is going to come in and it's going to genuinely help to propel you forward. Now, this is the, this is the kicker. Some of y'all are going to be scratching your head asking why, why would this person want to help me? Why would this person break their neck and bend their back and stretch themselves just to help me? But you need to know, regardless of if you're questioning or not, this is genuine support. That's the word support, not necessarily help in terms of you're an injured bird and you need somebody to come along and do it for you, but genuine support, someone who's just going to take a liking to you and who's just going to want to see you do well. Now it's not often that we meet people who just genuinely want to see us do well and they'll lend us their helping hand. But in this case you will. And then here we go. The person who had the opportunity to assist you or to lend a helping hand or help propel you forward. This is when they're going to all of a sudden observe you in a brand new light. See, sometimes it takes you leaving or it takes someone else coming in to help people realize what they had. So this person may then try to either one of two things down and clown the person who's coming in now, like where they come from. They just come in all of a sudden. They may try to fill your heads with doubt about these people. They go that dang again. They're going to down and clown this person. They're going to say how bad this person is. And oh, this person is just trying to use you. Oh, this person don't genuinely care about you. That person wasn't there from the beginning. All of that. I'll give you an example. Let's say you're an employee working at, you know, a, a retail store and your manager has determined that, you know, you're a good employee. They watch you, your work ethic, you're doing real good, but they don't promote you. They don't give you a raise. But then all of a sudden here comes the regional manager. Okay. And the regional manager observes the same thing that you're a great employee. Your work ethic is fantastic. So they give you the management position at a whole nother store. So the person who had the opportunity to give you a raise, they didn't do it. But here comes somebody else with even more power and does even more for you in less time. That's what we're talking about this month. So you guys be on the lookout. This group, this question mark group number four, you guys have two different people who are about to observe. One person is going to be left feeling a little salty and the other person is going to gain something amazing. You. Okay. So that's what I get for question mark number four. For my people that chose question mark number five, y'all need to get ready because this month you're going to be observed by your competitors and rivals. Okay. Competitors and rivals. So there may be something new. There may be something better. There may be growth. Okay. These things are going to attract the attention of people who never saw you as a threat, um, who never saw you as a competitor. Okay. Um, whatever it is that you're thinking about doing or trying, you got the green light in April. Okay. And for some of you guys, not to say that this is a good thing, but for some of you guys, you're really going to enjoy the fact that people see you as a contender. Okay. If you're working a job, you just do a good job, you know, but now the employee of the month, you know, you get that, that title. And now suddenly the other employees are, are looking at you and wondering how did you do it and, and what are you doing? So they're going to be watching all of your moves. They're going to be trying to see, well, what is it exactly about you that got you that title? Well, what exactly do I need to do to beat you next time? What exactly are you over there doing that has, you know, these people's attention? So rivals and competitors, some that were around 
already, but just didn't see you as a threat. And then some who are brand new, who never noticed you at all. But since now you are, I don't know, I guess I just keep wanting to call it your growth. Something about your growth. Your growth is attracting new competitors and rivals. Now it's important to note because for uh, question mark number one, it was being observed by a hater. Competitors and rivals are not the same as haters or people who are jealous of you. Competitors and rivals are kind of like Target and Walmart. It's like if Target is looking at Walmart saying, well, why do y'all have so many customers? What is it that y'all doing that attracts people to y'all store? You know, it's not that I'm jealous of you. It's just I'm trying to get on your level. I'm trying to be like you. I'm trying to make sure that I keep up. You know, I don't want to get swallowed away and all of a sudden I have to close down all of my doors. Imagine if Target had to close all of their doors because of Walmart. Target's not going to do that. They're going to stay on top of their competitor to stay in the game. You got the Miami Heat. You got the Los Angeles Lakers. Those are competitors. Those are rival teams. You know, I have to make sure that I study my rival so that I can stay in the game. Okay, no hate, no disrespect, no jealousy involved, but I got to keep up. I got to stay on top of it because we all in it to win it. And that's how these people or this particular person may feel. They're only observing you because you could be a potential threat to them going away. And that's how they feel. Um, they're observing you because they want to make sure that whatever you're doing that's causing all of this ruckus or causing all of this, you know, uh, attention, they want to make sure that they get a piece of that pie too. Okay. Again, make sure you guys observe the difference this month between your competitors, your rivals, as opposed to haters and jealous people. So that's what I get for you. Uh, group five competitors and arrivals are on their way. All right, guys. So those are your messages for April 2021. I hope you guys were able to find some golden nuggets of information and some useful things that'll help you out throughout this month. Make sure you guys click the link in the description box to head on over to Patreon, where we are going to continue with six through 10. If this is where it ends for you, thank you guys so much for listening. And I appreciate you all for your likes, your subscribes, your shares. And if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So until the next video, I'm sending you guys so much light and love and positive vibes.